Hey, what's up, guys? Um, we had some technical difficulties, so I ended up doing a money run that I said I might do offline. Then I invested after that money run into a run to kill the hag boss. And my noise gate was screwed, so everything just kept cutting out. So, yeah, we're doing a... Uh, Trying to have another attempt here. I had to run away from the from the hag boss um, when I realized the. I don't want to kill a boss off off uh, off camera. So let's see who we can actually bring into this quest that can indeed. Okay, I like that. I like that. We can indeed actually damage the backline. Unequable trinkets. Put them. Um, a problem I actually ran into in that fight was was healing. So I'm definitely going to bring someone who's a bit more efficient in the art of healing than I did previously. Um, she's terrible. We have nothing better to take. We don't. How about like this? That's really not much better, but I, I, <clears throat> I guess it is better technically. You can take that off and put this on. Man, no, that that last run actually quite uh, was was quite a problematic mess. Who the hell's gonna be our front line? It's mind. Okay, so as badly as I did, oh, we can just this should this should actually be fun. Yeah, as, as badly as I wanted to do this boss fight, I don't think it's actually a good idea. But anyway, I've I've messed up an episode. So, let's make it up to y'all. We're going to try and... Uh, where's the scouting book? Scouting book? Here we go. So, we're going to try and fix this up. Let's just make sure she has the right skills equip. Yep. I can solve this. Then what are we going to... We're just going to stack some serious damage on here. Something like this. And what are we going to do here? Because I think he is going to end up using his melee attacks quite often. Or we just... Keep using the ranged ones and then use the melee ones if we need to. Yeah, that sounds like a decent idea. We'll grab that and we'll grab the sun ring. And over here, he has the accuracy mod, so we can give him that. And then we can also give him this. I'm just worried that our stress um, might be getting a bit too much for these characters. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm rather going to do that, just give him a bit less damage. We have this for damage, this unit, these units for damage as well. She just has to, to focus on healing. Um, how long does your mark last? I don't actually know how long that mark lasts. Um, does it say here in the guild? Doesn't actually say that. That's problematic. Okay, so uh, if we fail this quest because I had to back out of the previous one, 
Uh, if we fail this quest, we are going to be in some some serious trouble financially. I'm going to have to kick some of our units out and uh, use antiquarians, things like that, to try and get try and get through it all, which would not be ideal. I'm honest, but. Uh, yeah, that's everything. It wouldn't be ideal. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Yeah, we've fixed... Okay, cool. No, like, I... Method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. I bumped my screen. Laden but, uh, with yeah. loot are often low on supplies. Reaching for the curtain behind us. So, let's just quickly fix the camera. Sorry about that. Uh, the boss fight is probably here. And we've got a 40% scout chance, so I'm pretty sure we'll get some decent scouts on the way there. Um, we can start with a big old whack. That was the max roll for that whack. Not a bad whack. I want to see how long this lasts. So if you'll... Uh... No, we need... I think we need to just go for a shot first. Obliterated. Take them out if we can. I've gotten my highwaymen's built to a point where they always have just consistent chances to to hit and deal damage. I've done a lot of runs without healers lately, so having a healer is actually quite nice. I'm gonna snipers mark you. See how long it lasts. Three rounds. Okay, I don't know if that was upgraded with the upgrades as we went, but I'm pretty glad. Thank you. That we got that upgrade. Uh, got that upgrade if it is the case. Three rounds of snipers mark is really, really good for us. Because uh, the highwayman also benefits from it. If we can snipers mark the boss, then. Yeah, this also works with mark. So that does help a lot. Um, you have reduced damage, but it's not like you're going. Oh, you can heal yourself. Thought just full HP though. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Alright, then we can take out this last guy. Hopefully he doesn't split into more. Before we get to him. Nope. We're good. And uh, we got our scout off. Uh I don't know what interacts with camp, so I'm just gonna Yeah, I'm still pretty sure the boss is over here. I don't think the boss would be anywhere else. It's just generally the, the furthest point from where you are at the moment, so. Um, I We are going to run into a bit of a problem in this boss fight um, because of the pump I've, I've made for us. Um, reason being, your comp kind of gets thrown into disarray as you play against the the hag and the last time we did it it wouldn't really have been much of a problem for us oh great but now did i put flare on or did i think it's unnecessary Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, well, we're gonna have to high roll to hit uh, to get that kill. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it, why not? Then maybe even this can get a kill. Oh, so close. So very close, all right. My reasoning there was if I killed the big guy, 
their turn in the next uh, wave of... Jeez. In the next wave. Death waits for the slightest Sorry? In concentration. Yeah, y'all can just... Guy, please. And the next time it's our turn, we could have actually um, used our. Kid, you stop murdering the leper, please. What the bloody hell's wrong with you all? Wow. Like, I appreciate the crit, but we're gonna need like five more of those. Good lord. Yeah, but you don't even worry about the bodies, just heal yourself. Sedated. Bloody hell. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That was crazy. A <laughs> poor leopard just got hit with so many attacks and they freaking critted. That was insane. I can go for a party heal this time. I get her hit points up as well, top everybody off, and then just slowly work towards uh, killing this last guy. Now, uh, what I was saying about the boss fight is she scrambles up your your body's positioning quite a lot, which is really difficult to actually do this, unless you've got a comp that was specifically designed for it. Now, you could be saying. Low and insidious killer. Knowing that surely Paulie would have made a comp that can that can deal with it. Unfortunately, I don't have the units for that. So no, <laughs> can't make a comp to deal with it. And p like putting the boss off and like farming up specifically uh, specific units to specific levels and to like can have a comp for it is just gonna be. So frustrating and tedious. Yeah, why not? Just just beat the hell out of my poor leper. He hasn't gone through enough already in this in this dungeon. Can I tell you guys a scary thing, right? I've been recording for an hour and fifty-seven minutes, and uh, got one episode to show for it. And that that is frustrating. Wait, did I? S okay, so I've I've covered um, duplicate topics so far today because I've done multiple episodes, and I don't know what I've actually said anymore. I don't want to say things. I'm going to repeat myself. I don't know what I said at the start of this run. And then I'm sorry for being bad and screwing up. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That is eight damage. I definitely should have bandaged. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. Okay, let's beat the hell out of this guy. It's out of your point blank crit nonsense. You're gonna die. Just not sure what that finger point means. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. And like the, the other issue is with this boss fight is when you need multiple units that can hit position three, and you need one unit that can absolutely annihilate position one. Um so it gets a bit gets a bit tough. To make sure all of those things can actually happen. And we are going to camp and eat. Like a full heart, full hearty meal. So we are going to be able to top up everyone's HP quite a bit. Um, I just want to make sure that we've pushed up his hit points as much as possible before we get to that point in uh, in the episode or in in the run
Then I get a scout when I really wanted to scout. Alright. <laughs> if the boss isn't in this direction, we're in trouble, but I'm... I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, we'll start with that self buff. Bandage, uh, bandage. Then we'll hit up with... This. It's expensive, but it does prevent... Nighttime ambush. Restring your bow. Uh, that's a forecast. That was also a forecast. So, would have enjoyed to to make sure that that happens as well. But uh, I want to give that unit stress reduction. Reason being, she's got the the heavy stress items. The light, the promise of safety. Alrighty, let's let's see what. Uh, This, 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 is it this? It's bandages, right? Yeah, I think it's actually bandages. Oh, this is an unfortunate fight to run into right before the bloody boss fight. Good gosh. Um, we can take out both of the dogs now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm feeling a bit better about this. Because a leper can probably... Um, get enough damage dealt. I'm gonna do this just to miss, and then... Uh, I really thought a Hugh stood a good chance of uh, one-hitting it, but okay. It's just us and the big boy, so the big boy is going to be annoying to deal with. Stress is going to stack up quite quickly, and that attack does do a lot of damage. But we resisted the stun, so all should be pretty decent. Got it there. Now if our gets a good hit, he's sorted. Yeah, perfect. Alright, not bad. Moment of truth? Alright, I was right. Okay, problem with this boss fight. I'm glad we started with this unit. Problem with this boss fight is one of our units needs to constantly be healing. If any of our units end up in the pot, our leper needs to to one hit that pot pretty uh, um, consistently. Our other units need to keep hitting the boss. So these two are gonna hit the boss. It's gonna hit the pot. The fact that we didn't hit one hit that pot means I have to do this. I don't want to. But she can't end up. Uh, she can't end up in on death's door as our healer this early in the friggin' fights. And I can't constantly be hitting the pot with everyone. And now the true test. Hold fast. Yeah. Or expire. Alright, um, so many turns have passed that she doesn't even have the friggin' mark on her anymore. Okay, 18. Good damage. Kill you guys to actually dodge that stupid attack, please. Thank you. Can it please be her turn so she can heal herself? Oh, she can only do a party heal from this position. <laughs> and the leper can't do anything from this position. So I'll heal with her turn, with the leper's turn, I'll, I'll move forward. Um, open veining the pot will accomplish nothing. If you crit, heal yourself again. on the brink facing the abyss you know what you just ramp yourself up to whack that pot every time one of our friends end up in it how about that idea 
Okay, she needs to heal herself again. That's fine. Just keep doing those attacks. Like, stress is not a problem. Just keep hitting me with those attacks. Oh, leave it with two. Really? A singular strike. Lippy, you literally have one job, and that is that is to hit at that pot in one shot. That that is your job, my dude. Oh, if you end up in the pot, we're screwed. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, now these guys need to take care of the pot, and I think it might even take too long. Man. This fight is, uh... This fight is something. Told you guys, this is the, like the first time you fight her, it's it's not that bad. The second time, jeez, she's rough on veteran, and I can't stop hitting her, or else we're going to fall behind the ball. Like death, death door. Is she is she gonna die? Is is he gonna die? I need to have a turn here, please. Can I have a turn here, please? Makes me so angry that I had to use that attack there. No! Death door. Multiple Perched units. At the very precipice of oblivion. All right, leper, please one hit this thing. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. The ground Thank you. quakes. She can't do anything from position one though, it's a problem. 17 HP. I'm playing like, I can't afford to um, fail this quest. If they die, yes, that's absolutely horrible. But I, I physically cannot afford to, to fail this quest. That is what the leper was supposed to do from the start, by the way. Yeah, they can't die on this turn. Yeah, I'd love to heal all of you, to be honest with you. Wow, we're in a almost decent position. You crit? Oh, we need that. But less people will be eaten. You crit when she has nine HP left. Really? That's when you decide to friggin... Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? We're getting out of here. Let's have a look at the map. No, we're getting out of here. That was frustrating. <laughs> Oh wow, it's going really well here. Paranoia is fine. For that? That's actually also fine. She doesn't really do melee that often. Man. Cast out from the civilized world, these men may yet be of use to us. They're both level zero. Oh, I've got a sneeze. Pardon me. Alright, um, I think that wraps it up for this episode. Um, I'd like to do the crest, so let's quickly do this and turn them into 
into Chris. I'd like to do this. Increase my roster to maximum so that I can take units like these level ones. Of the <laughs> level zeros. Uh, I want to use them to do some money runs on, on these. We can take... I, th I think, unfortunately, sorry guys, next run, next episode is going to end up being another, another money run. Not much we can do, but I think we're going to take that into this long. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, just ignore the, the missing episodes, uh, audio issues. Unfortunately, there's, there's not much I can do about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like if you did enjoy the episode. And I'll catch all of you on the next one. Cheers.